and happy Valentine's Day, Sagittarius, and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So, Sagittarius, I am here to do your Valentine's Day check-in, right? I just wanted to check your energy and, you know, take a little peek into your love life, right? <laughs> anyway, Sagittarius, uh, this reading is for the collective. We're just going to go through the cards together, right? A quick one. Um... Uh, so, you know, it may or may not resonate with you. Just take what does resonate. Toss out the rest. Uh, don't try to force any reading into your world, okay? And thank you, Sagittarius, for your likes, likes subscribes, comments, shares, donations. Everything that you guys do that helps this channel keep growing. Thank you so, so much for all of your support, okay? Um, all right, Divine, what can you show me for Sagittarius for Valentine's Day? What do you have for Sagittarius for Valentine's Day? Um, what I'm getting, what I'm hearing is, is that it's been a long time since, I, I feel like, um, I feel like this person has their back turned, but in all actuality, it's almost like they're thinking to themselves, it's been a long time since they heard from you. And they're wondering if there's any love left. Do you feel about them the same way you did before? You know, a lot of times we'll say, you know, this person's waiting, waiting for their ships to come in. I feel like they have been waiting, but they've been waiting to hear something from you, and they're not hearing from you. So that's honestly uh, the first thing I, and they're feeling betrayed by this. Yeah, you're standing in your strength. You're standing your ground here. You're like, nope, I'm not dealing with whatever anymore. You're standing your ground. Someone's got their back turned. I feel like they're, they were expecting to hear from you. They haven't been hearing from you. You're standing your ground. They're wondering if you feel the same way or like, how could you not, like, how could you not be talking to me? How can you be standing your ground? Yeah, but you are blocking this person off. I feel like you're walking away from this. You're healing yourself. Um, your star energy here, right? Putting yourself out there, showing yourself to the world, your skills, your abilities, your special talents, and people are totally digging it, okay? They love it. You've got quite the following here. You could be a spiritual guide for other people. Um, just out here being a star with whatever it is you're doing, you're pouring love into it. And it seems to be healing for other people, okay? Um, a very intuitive card here. Um, yeah, and I feel like you walked away from this. You've blocked this person off. There's no communication. Um, I feel like you just don't want to deal with something anymore. You're just done. And you're standing your freaking ground. And they feel very betrayed, very defeated, um, yeah, th this person can't stop thinking about you, can't stop remembering how innocent your love was. I, that's the, I want to say it like that. Your love was innocent. Your love was pure. Um, you wouldn't have done anything to, to harm this person. Okay. With the mitten here. They just can't stop thinking about you. You could have children with this person. You could have known this person for um, a long time, years, most of your life since childhood, maybe. That's not for all of you, though. They are finding you extremely sexy. Um, they're very passionate about you. This person, um, I feel like they may want to do something impulsive, okay? This seems like a person who is impulsive, but I feel like this time they were kind of playing a game. Thinking that you would reach out to them or thinking they would hear from you and you're standing your ground. You don't want to have anything to do with this person right now. 
I, I don't know that I feel like you just you're moving forward. You you've turned your back on this. You've walked away from this. You know this person is impulsive. Uh, they make foolish moves without thinking. Okay. They could have player energy, in and out energy, wanting to come in, use that wand as a male phallic, and then leave because you are very sexy here. You know, they could be dealing with the Queen of Wands, or sorry, Queen of Swords, who's um, upset, maybe feeling betrayed, backstabbed because this person. Uh, they're out here doing whatever they want willy-nilly, not really giving a crap. And, like, they have all this passion for you. They're sitting here all pouty. They're, this is how they're acting, right, in their, in their real life. They're acting like this. They're acting pouty. They're kicking rocks. They're upset because they missed out on a blessing in love with you, you, Okay, this is this one's you. This is who they're thinking about. And this Queen of Swords that they're with is like, wait a minute, why are you acting this way? It's Valentine's Day. Why are you acting like a sp spoiled, rotten, pouty little brat, right? Which puts them on the defense feel like things can get overheated very quickly. There's going to be an argument between these people here. I feel like your person's been in a crossroads. You know, they have been trying to decide or something. They've been in between two people. You haven't been a part of this. You've been standing your ground and healing yourself. Um, but they just keep thinking about you. You turn them on. Okay, there's something about you that turns them, this person on, and they can't stop thinking about you. And they're pouty because they missed their chance with you. And whoever they're with, whoever they're committed to, these two aren't getting along. The Queen of Swords and the King of Swords, you know, I feel like these two are together, committed, um, you know, a pair. But they're fighting with each other right now because, like I said, this Queen of Swords wants to freaking know while why your person is acting like such a they're they're not acting right on Valentine's Day. Cuz they're upset because they can't spend Valentine's Day with you. They're not hearing from you. They feel betrayed because you haven't talked to them yet. Okay, you see my point? I hope so. <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah, these two are fighting, arguing. Your person's on the defense, and then they try to flip it back on this Queen of Swords. And this Queen of Swords is like, no, I want to know why you're acting like this on Valentine's Day. Well, it's because your person wants to reach out to you. That's why. They're, they could be over drinking. Boy, once the drinking starts, the fighting starts. Someone could even maybe uh, be facing some kind of jail time. But yeah, I feel like that's what's going to happen. They're going to be thinking about you on Valentine's Day, Sagittarius. Over drinking, fighting with this Queen of Swords who just wants the truth, is feeling betrayed on, on Valentine's Day because they intuitively know that this person is thinking about you. I feel like your person drinks, and then this Queen of Swords goes out and drinks, and then the, there's a lot of deception between the two of them, and your person's still juggling, can't sleep at night, maybe throwing up what they drank, you know. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. This could be a fire sign. You know, meanwhile, you're just out here standing your ground and they're, they, they're under judgment. Yeah, the, the, that's it. <laughs> I mean, I, I could feel that one coming up. I could. I could. I could feel that one coming. 
this is your person's judgment here. Lose, a loss of money probably because of all of the, I see a lot of drinking going on and a lot of fighting because of the, because of the drinking. I'm seeing deceptive energy between the two of them because they split up into separate groups. There could even be gossip going on between the two of them because of the harsh communication, the drinking, the foolishness. You know, this person could end up sick or hurt, out in the cold, low on their money. The, you know, this is their judgment. For playing games with you, play and not and doing whatever it is that they're doing here in their life. Okay? Take it however it resonates. Yeah, show me Sagittarius though. I feel like this person may try to reach out to you. That's just gonna add to the gossip and the fighting. You know, for you, you have a new, a new beginning. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> Sagittarius, you have a new beginning coming for you. And you know what? It's going to be super abundant. It's going to be a whole new life. You know, look, all of the, see all the hills and the, and the mountains and stuff in the background there? That's where you've been, right? That's where... This journey has led you up until this point. Right now, you're passing through this doorway, this portal here, into the garden. Your abundance, right? A whole new lifestyle. You know, you're, you, you, you could be getting a lot of money here, a lump sum of money, or a raise, or some kind of job, or travel, or a lucky thing, right? Something that brings you to a whole new life. This is a whole new beginning for you, okay? That's what's coming for you. But I, I feel like, um, I feel like this person over here is gonna be going through it. Um, a lot of partying, drinking, the two of them not getting along, splitting up and drinking in separate groups, and then fighting some more, and yeah. You may hear from this person, okay? You may hear from them, but um, yeah, because they're going to feel very heartbroken. Very heartbroken, okay? Yeah, so... They may lash out. They're going to be angry. They're not going to be in a good mood. That's for sure. That is for sure. If you hear from, from this person, they're not in a good mood. They're not in a good headspace when they come in to talk to you. Okay, just so you know. Anyway, Sagittarius, listen, that's what I got for your Valentine's read. Great things for you, Saggy. You stood your ground. Keep standing your ground. Um, anyway, if you guys like this video, please go ahead, click the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Help me grow. Become a new Mooney. Um, and Sagittarius, I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome uh, Valentine's Day. And um, until next time, take care of you and peace out.